Leo, welcome. Alicia and Vince here from Two Mystics Tarot. This is a general reading. If you resonate with it, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any uploads. Now let's dive right into what message your spirit has for you. All right, Leo, let's see exactly what spirit wants you to know. Enhance your life spiritually, physically, and financially. All right. Beautiful. Okay, so we got the Fool, Seven of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Three of Cups, and the King of Cups. So, right now you've been waiting. You've been waiting for love. You've been waiting for love to manifest for quite some time, right? Now you feel as if you've been waiting for quite some time, but you are going to be rewarded. From what I see here, you've done everything you needed to to get to where you are right now. Now the only thing left for you to do is what? The fool take the leap of faith. So love is coming into your life, but it's very, very important that you still believe in love, that you still believe that not only do you deserve love, that it is your birthright to have love, that it's not like you're lucky to have found love, that you are meant to have love. The universe wants to see you happy and they want to see you with this specific person, especially that King of Cups energy we're gonna to get to. Now, it is very, very important that you do not fall victim to the Seven of Wands energy right now, because when love's coming into your life, the last thing you want is for love to come and go and for you to have missed it. The Seven of Wands lets you know, that there's going to be situations very, very in the short term here that are going to be distracting, right? And the situations are gonna to try to lower your vibes. It could be some people at work, you know, have gossiping that, you know, that you're trying to get to engage with, or it's gonna be something dramatic that happens, whatever the case may be. It could be some friends. It could be something unexpected that happens. Say you could even have your car break down, whatever the case is. It's going to really, you know, affect you. It's a challenge. The universe wants to see how bad do you want it? How bad do you keep your vibrations high? How bad do you believe in love and believe in destiny? And when something small happens or when something does happen, do you immediately throw that out the window and lower your vibes again? It's very, very important. Love is here. Believe in it and do not fall victim. Why? Because the two of pentacles lets you know that you will have a decision to make when this love comes into your life. You really have to see, do you want to choose good, happiness, be grateful, abundance, or do you want to choose really Fear, anxiety, negativity. Oh my goodness, this happened to me. My previous relationship, it's not gonna work out. My new relationship, this is not you at all, Leo. And this is what they're warning you about. That they're really, you're gonna be at a crossroads and you have to make this decision because it's gonna be very important. It's gonna see which way you head. Now, if you really take the time and use the Eight of Cups energy and really tap into anything that's holding you back, any sort of fear that you may have that is holding you back, you may tell yourself, I am not pretty enough. I am not strong enough. I'm not ready enough, I'm not experienced enough. Any of that stuff that your ego is telling your brain and trying to prevent you from doing anything, it would rather you just sit at home and do nothing and be safe, right? But if you go out and enjoy, if you go out and really uh, put yourself out there, not physically, but spiritually, if you spiritually proclaim to the universe that you're ready for love, you're gonna radiate the right vibrations. Why do we need to do that? Because the Three of Cups here lets you know that the third party is most likely going to refer you to love. So if your vibrations are low, then it's going to be hard for this third party to refer you. They're going to be like, I don't want to set someone up when they're not meant to be together, right? So you have to radiate the vibration, the good energy out there, and that's how people are going to pick up on it. Very, very important. Remember what they said? Leap of faith. Avoid negativity. Why are they telling you this? Because you have to feel good right now. The King of Cups. Now, this is what we're talking about this person is the love interest coming into your life and you want this person to feel you from a mile away the same way that you're going to feel their energy from a mile away. True romantic, someone again who has the king experience, this isn't their first relationship, they know what they've done wrong in the previous relationships and they're going to use the power, their experience now to woo you and to really put their best foot forward and start this relationship right. Now, are you going to match that? That's the important thing, Leo. Are you going to match that? That beautiful energy because if you do you're riding off into the sunset i could not have said it better leo we have nine of pentacles the hanged man knight of wands five of pentacles seven of wands now it's interesting because the overall energy i got for you was king of cups and seven of pentacles again it's look for synchronicities king of cups i really do feel like leo you are absolutely ready for this new love that's about to enter your life i feel like the nine of pentacles energy is you right now you're feeling fulfilled you're living your best life you know you're doing 
doing what's working for you and you're kind of thinking like, okay, like I'm ready for love. Like where, you know, where are you? And right now the universe is letting you to almost embrace this hangman energy. Again, really um, be confident with what it is you want. Set your intentions and just know it does feel like with, again, with the three of cups that the love is going to be entering your life. And the best thing we can do right now, Leo, is making sure you're in your most confident, stable, um, foundational state of mind, right? We want to make sure that we're not too um, impulsive. We're not too a little too um, wrapped up in our emotions right now with this Knight of Wands energy. We want to make sure that we're really balancing what it is we're thinking and feeling and not, again, making any um, rash decisions because it is going to lead you to this Five of Pentacles energy, a more of a, a lower state of mind, more of a scarcity mind state. We really want you to be in your highest good at all time. You're living your best self because that's really the vibration, again, you'll send out to meet the most, uh, the best partner for your life. And I can see here again, seven of wands synchronicities, right? It definitely does feel like the universe is asking you to, again, it almost is like you're going to be going out, okay? And then you're, you may meet somebody or somebody may say something. And that's the time where you really hang on to those emotions, okay? Really um, come from a logical state of mind. Don't give away your energy uh, to anything that anybody says or anything like that because it's just going to really lower your vibes and it's not going to put your best foot forward. And again, in order to meet the best person for you, we want to make sure that you are living your best version of yourself. Exactly, because that's the thing, right? If you want to attract the 10 vibration, always vibrations, then you need to be a 10 vibrationally yourself, right? You want to attract the best, so you have to be the best as well, guys. Think about it, right? Really realistic. Why would someone want to be with someone that's, you know, has lower vibrations? You are way too beautiful and smart, Leo. Like, we could tell right now from your energy that you're, you're rocking it. So again, show that to the world. Proclaim it to the world. Now, what do we got? King of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Judgment, Transformation, Ace of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. Now, Again, not only do we got the King of Cups out there, right? But you also have the King of Pentacles down here. So the same person is someone who's very grounded. They like nature. They're very practical. Like they have all the good traits here. Like what more could someone ask for, right? Very attractive traits. Eight of Wands lets you know it's smooth sailing only if you really have that mindset. With the right mindset, it's smooth sailing. With the wrong mindset, it's, stream, it's swimming uh, upstream. You do not want that. How do you find the right mindset? Your guides are letting you know right here. Judgment, clarity, 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 right? You have to have clarity. Why do you want clarity? Because then you'll have knowledge. What is knowledge? Why do you want knowledge? Confidence is knowledge, guys. That's all confidence is. Confidence is having knowledge. That's how you hide confidence. How do you find, you know, what do you get out of knowledge? Clarity, the clarity that you seek. Next, it has transformation, which is the death card, right? Which goes to show that you did get out of a relationship that wasn't the best relationship. And right now, it's still somehow lingering in your subconscious because we got the five of cups right here. So I could tell right now that it's still lingering in your subconscious and you haven't let go. But if you don't let go to receive, then all the doors are going to be blocked. You have to close the door to open the door. That's exactly how it works in this 3D pentacle world. And speaking of pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Ace New Pentacles, waiting for you right here, that King of Pentacles energy. But again, how are you looking at this? Glass half full or glass half empty? Exactly, Leo, it's all perspective. Okay, so we have very exciting news. Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Death Card, Synchronicities, and the Ten of Cups. Leo, 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 you have a relationship of brewing. It's right around the corner. But again, we have to make sure that we're in the right perspective, state of mind to answer it. But it, you know, it's, it's really beautiful energy because this Knight of Cups next to the Page of Pentacles, this love's going to come in and you, all of a sudden, it's new creative insight's going to happen. New ideas are going to be forming, formulating. It feels like you guys are going to be planning a lot for your future. It feels like it's a really, really um, successful relationship here. That's the vibe I'm getting. Next to that, the Page of Wands. So again, a lot of passion, a lot of excitement, a lot of fun beginnings. But we won't be able to embrace those fun beginnings, Leo, if you don't, what? Death card. If we don't let, again, go of the past. we got to really make sure that whatever happens been in the past situation with your ex or what have you is left there you know really just take the lessons from it because this new relationship isn't going to deserve your half self they deserve your best self and that's i think what we were sort of feeling in the first row here was that um you want to make sure that you're living your best life living your highest good best for your intuition and for your soul so that this new person this new love comes into your life is going to get the best version of yourself because it's feeling like it's a good one with this ten of cups energy right at the end of the row here right happy families happy 
happy endings. Exactly. Family, energy, love, abundance, joy. That's exactly what's going to keep you on par. And that's going to exactly how it's going to draw this person into your life. That You're going to manifest this absolutely no problem. All right, Leo. Hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification, guys. Do not miss any uploads. We can't wait to hear your next reading. Until then, check out these ones here. We'll chat soon, Leo. Bye for now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Leo.